Oh, hey, welcome back to another video. Today, we're gonna to be reviewing the 2021 Tesla Model S Plaid. This is the home of the two second zero to 60, 1,020 horsepower, uh, same zero to 100 mile an hour as a Bugatti Chiron. And this one is actually wrapped matte blue. It looks really, really good. And it's for sale for about $88,000 at the BMW dealership that I work at, BMW Cincinnati North. And I had not driven a Tesla Model S Plaid prior to today. Um, so these, this is basically my raw, un, uh, unlaunched experience from a BMW guy, not not a Tesla guy. I'm not a big nerd on Teslas. I've sold uh, one of the ludicrous models in the past. and. Um, I'm just very excited to see kind of what's up with this car. Uh, so on the Tesla Model S, there's really not a lot on the outside of these cars. They are very, very simplistic. Uh, they're covered in just gobs of cameras pretty much everywhere. You've got cameras here, you've got cameras here, you've got cameras on the inside. Um, on the Plaid, you do get uh, this nice little kind of carbon fiber spoiler on the back. And then you've got, out, like all Teslas, you've got your charger port hidden just underneath the side there. Uh, Teslas use a different style charger. Uh, then the other one, they're, they're specific to Tesla. Uh, GM uh, and Ford did actually just agree to start using Tesla chargers as well. So I could see those starting to proliferate more throughout the uh, car market. Um, I'm not gonna get in the trunk of this one because I don't know if I'll be able to get out, but you do have plenty of trunk space in the back here. Uh, this one does have the WeatherTech mats already installed in it. And those will come with the vehicle at the time of purchase. You've also got a nice little hidden compartment down here um, that's about the size of a golf bag. So I think they probably did that with some, with some intention, given that these are very popular in Silicon Valley. Um, the button to close the trunk is nice, nice soft touch. And then this car does feature ceramic tint on the back of it. They did a great job with this wrap. I think they have a different wrap texture here on the top part, just to make it look a little bit different. On the inside of the Plaid, this does feature double-paned glass windows, which is very important whenever you're dealing with any kind of luxury car. It makes the, the ride a lot quieter. Um, and then just like on the back bumper, this uh, carbon fiber does extend on the mirror caps. It looks really nice. Um, but you know, the reason that you clicked on this video is because you saw a Tesla Model S Plaid and you're probably just sitting around on the internet watching a lot of these zero to 60 tests. So let's go make it happen. Oh. Oh shoot, we were supposed to take this thing on a, on a drive, weren't we? Well, might as well just get through the first lap. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. All right, so uh, the Tesla, you can play video games on the inside of the car. You've got this nice little uh, um, navigation system built into here. Pretty much anything that you ever wanna do in a Tesla is all going to be inside of this little computer screen here. Uh, the transmission selector is a little strange. So in order to put this car in a drive, um, if you can figure out how to do it, you just click on your little car icon here, and then to put it into drive, you just swipe forward. So, there we go. I think we're good. No, we're not good. We gotta tap this thing on the dash first. Okay, now we're awake. Um, and then you can pretty much, with any Tesla, you can uh, operate the, either the front or the trunk uh, all through your controls menu. Uh, your pedals and steering, this is where you're going to adjust. We're going to get more on the drag strip mode. I'm going to start prepping the car so it'll um, start warming up. I think it takes about 10 minutes for the batteries to heat up in order to do the fun stuff. Come on, pedals and steering. We were trying to do an intro for this video earlier, and the, uh, the screen did unfortunately lock up playing video games. So I would keep an idea on the kind of, or try to keep mindful of, here, let's restart. I haven't got all, I got all gobbled. Um, I'll save it, but I probably won't like, gosh, I'm like getting really tired. Okay. So now that we're inside of the Model S, uh, I do want to talk a little bit more about it. You've got this cool little yoke style steering wheel. Everyone's heard everything about this on the internet, but here are my thoughts. I, the fact that the turnstock doesn't exist and that it's just buttons on the steering wheel is a little weird. I do really like that it automatically shows your blind spots so that if you're not very good at checking your blind spots like I am. It'll always come up on the screen so you won't forget. Um, and it is really easy to turn them on and off. Uh, I do really like how the door control works. Uh, it doesn't feel too uh, laborious to get into the door controls. The windows work really nicely um, and they are double pane. So the quality is very nice. You don't hear too much uh, noise on the outside of the car. I also do really like how the uh, air just flows straight out from the dashboard. 
The dashboard quality is nice. It's actual like proper leather and you aren't noticing a lot of the uh, uh, fitment quality issues that we had on some of our previous uh, Tesla models. The Alcantara on the dash here for you to put your phone or the key in this case uh, is really nice also. And then whenever you're going through a couple of the different screens, you've got your controls here. You can use that to change all of your different radio settings. The response rate on the screen works really well, and you can even play video games if you really feel like it. Um, we were playing a little round of the beach buggy uh, racing when it was a lot of fun, but unfortunately that it did end up locking up. Uh, that's probably just some Tesla things, and I can see that getting fixed with like some software updates. Our car isn't all the way up to date, and we actually do need to do an update. Uh, once we're finished up. But this car is really nice and the uh, wrap on the exterior of it really makes this car look really nice. Um, with, the Tesla, with the Tesla Model S um, uh, Plaid Edition, you can customize all of the different uh, adaptive suspension settings. We have it on advanced, turned up to firm ride comfort and then sport handling. Um, and wherever you're using auto pilot it was going to automatically put that in comfort damping mode and if you didn't feel like it if you want to get your teeth chattered out of your skull you can still keep it on the sport uh, the sport suspension we've got the ride height set as low as possible so that it's going to feel very uh, low and has a good center of gravity and with this thing weighing 4,800 pounds a lower center of gravity is very nice because it's going to keep this thing from rolling over that's actually why Teslas are so safe is because all the batteries are at the bottom of the car so that you're not going to get all jobbled around and if you're trying to uh, take fast corners or anything like that. To put it into drive, you do just swipe forward, which feels weird. Driving this thing literally just feels like you're you're playing a video game. Um, and I don't know. It's nice. The horn button, I wish that it was on the traditional horn spot. I wish there wasn't a button for it. It's a little silly. But you can customize this and add different sounds uh, as well. So if you wanted to make it like a... You can actually do that too, which is kind of nice. Um, Tesla's big on nerd stuff. Elon Musk is a nerd himself. And... I don't know, every, it's, you can have mis, mixed opinions on them, but you're here to watch this thing go really, really fast. So let's head this thing out. We've got the battery already warmed up in drag strip mode, and uh, we're gonna we're gonna take this thing on the highway, and I'm gonna show you kind of how fast this this car really is. Getting around town, it is a little bit weird having the yoke. Uh, you just have to make sure you're very cognizant of where your hands are on it, and as long as you're not actually like just as long as you're paying attention it's not that big a deal but it doesn't feel just seamless like how most vehicles are where you can just let the wheel rotate through your hands you're passing it back and forth to yourself which is just a little strange um and a lot another nice thing about the tesla model s is you have these like uh, traffic lights so it actually sees that there's two lights right above us there and you can watch every single vehicle go by and it knows pretty much what's going on around you so many cameras the autopilot does work very well my uh used car sales manager drove this thing home for the weekend and the car just drove him all the way to his house which is which is just nuts all right merging onto the highway oh my goodness and on drag strip mode with the full performance you can just really feel how this thing just wants to go It does feel a little bit soulless in the corners, like how people were saying, um, but it is very smooth whenever you're coming out of the power. Switching traffic is very easy with the full uh, self-driving computer. You can kind of see what's going on around you. There we are. Okay. So we're at 58 miles per hour. Switch over one lane and I'm going to hit it just a little bit. Oh my goodness, you're immediately just, you're immediately just breaking this, breaking the law very fast. This thing is just insane. I think that the real, the real jarringness is, happens directly whenever you're uh, doing like a zero to 60 test or a zero to 100 mile per hour test in, in this case with how fast this car is. It just effortlessly walks to 100 miles an hour. Like you don't feel any buildup. It just has that, that immediate electric torque and you're all of a sudden just, just breaking the law. This, this car is wild. And I noticed whenever we were going at low speeds, the car switched from being at medium ride height level to actually once we got up to highway speed, it dropped it back down to the, to the low ride height. 
merging in and out of traffic feels completely effortless and you don't really have to worry about what's going on. You have a good idea about what's going on and at regular speeds, it doesn't feel unsafe whatsoever. Um, and it's really like, despite the fact that it has a thousand horsepower, because it's an electric car, you it doesn't really feel like it wants to put you in a, into a wall. It just kind of feels like a normal car, unless if you're putting all of the uh, all of the effort into it to be really fast. Oh my goodness, throws your seat back into the back of the headrest. Um, and whenever uh, Car and Driver did the review on this car, they were able to do a full zero to uh, 60 mile an hour launch um, eight times and it only used about 20% of the battery. So it doesn't sound too bad as far as your uh, requirements go. Going into these corners, uh, just driving with one hand doesn't feel uh, too, it doesn't feel too bad, but you do, like I was saying, you do notice you have to uh, push the wheel from one hand to the next to get you in between the, uh, the different, different driving positions. The seat is very comfortable and it doesn't feel, uh, it doesn't feel like you're, you have any kind of, it doesn't feel cheap is basically what I'm trying to say. It feels very high quality, like you can uh, be very comfortable on this thing on a long road trip. And since it's an electric vehicle, you don't have any road noise either. I will miss, uh, once once gasoline cars, I will always miss tunnel runs. Uh, that's one thing you don't, you don't really get anything um, out of uh, goosing this thing underneath the tunnel. You just, you just have more electricity. All right, I'm gonna go find us a nice little uh, quiet spot for us to do a full zero to 100 mile an hour test on this. Um, so I will see you guys back in just a moment. But as far as highway goes, this thing's really good. And it doesn't feel as scary as I was expecting on, on, uh, on low speeds. And it just waltzes to 100 mile an hour at, at highway speeds. Pretty freaking cool. Good job, Tesla. All right, because I know that everybody's going to be like, oh, you didn't use autopilot. I, I was really kind of scared to use it, but uh, auto, Tesla's autopilot does work really well. Um, we just tried it merging off the highway. It's recognizing that there's a green light and it's showing down in the screen that it's already ready. And since there's a red light ahead of us, it's like slowly uh, merging forward. It recognized that we were in a turning only lane, turned on the turning signal for me. And it's just like, it just knows what's going on. It doesn't change lanes it changes lanes better than my mom um which is which is really nice um and since there's a car coming up in front of me all right let's see how it does with uh, them slowly merging out in front of me all right maintaining a, an appropriate distance not goosing it and it does recognize that the speed limit's 35 miles an hour we're coming up on a right turn only let's see if it uh puts the turn signal on once we get to this uh, solid striped line here Stopping for traffic light. Are you gonna recognize it? It recognized it. Oh, that's so cool. Will it make a right on red? Park assist unavailable. Okay, that doesn't really matter. Parking, okay. I don't think it's gonna make a right on red for us. Or it's just gonna wait for it to be really safe. Cause there's a car coming. It doesn't see anything going over here. I don't think it's gonna, oh my gosh. Oh, no, it, it, it light turned green. All right, so we're staying in the right lane. We wanna switch over one lane to the left. If you're just using, all right, there's a truck behind us. Let's see if it switches lanes. It's gonna miss our turn. All right, I'm gonna take over. All right, you tried Tesla. Tesla autopilot, you get a 10 out of 10. That was really freaking cool. Okay, and then in order to engage autopilot, all you do is you just press on this button. Um, whenever the autopilot, there's like a little steering yoke that shows up there. You just press on that little button and it's actually gonna let you know to go ahead and uh, just activate autopilot, which is pretty freaking cool. Um, we're at the last stage of our journey where we're about to do the best part of this freaking video. Man, it just effortless. Everything about this car just feels really effortless. Um, but yeah, activating, activating autopilot is not bad at all. Coming up on another turn here. Oh my God. All right. Okay. Tesla, you, I'm not, I'm not afraid. I'm okay with you. We can, we can be friends. 
Maybe electric cars aren't all bad. It made a full stop. It didn't recognize my turn. It forgot about it. Okay. So it's time. In order to do the full zero to, uh, zero to 60, we have to, uh, I think, mash the brake and mash the gas for 10 seconds. Or not the gas, the electric. Um, mash the brake, mash the gas. Preparing for launch, suspension entering cheetah stance. All right, is it time? Holy shit. Oh my gosh. Wow. The brakes, just like everyone says, are very underpowered. <laughs> that does not feel safe. Wow. Dude, it just throws you back into the seat like a freaking rocket ship. I, I miss the V8 though. I don't think, I think Tesla, Tesla okay. The Tesla Model, Tesla Model S Plaid, you get a 9 out of 10. You get a 8.5, 8 8.8 out of 10. Tesla Model S, you've got great storage. The tech is pretty darn cool. Uh, I don't love the CEO, which is which is fine. Um, but the uh, the Tesla, that was very fast. That was quite fun. The autopilot's very cool. And honestly, I, I, I did really enjoy driving this car. Um, if you guys liked this video, please leave a comment down below. If you guys want me to review more Teslas, I will read up on them a little bit more. I would love to drive more electric vehicles in the future, but I had a great time reviewing and driving this car for you guys. If you wanna leave a like down in the, in the uh, below this video, and if you wanna leave a comment, let me know what you guys think. And if there are any other vehicles that you would like me to check out, comment that as well. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll catch you guys later. Deuces.